for the first time since the 1990s. The Minot Mallards are playing at Corbett Field for one night only. The Hot Tots are donning Mallards jerseys, while the Bismarck Larks are posing as the Dakota Rattlers. Tonight's Mallards jerseys were auctioned off to support Prairie Grit. More on them later. Top of the second, Rattlers lead 3-0 off a three-run homer. Minot State's Trevin Badger is pitching for the Mallards. This hit out to right and Brandon Mondragon diving, grabbing. Hey, he almost doubles up the runner at first base. How about that throw? Into the third, Jack Herring at the plate for Bismarck. This ball smacked out to left field. It's caught, but Benjamin Rosengard can stroll home. Makes it a 4-0 game for Bismarck on the sacrifice fly. Badger with two outs and a full count. This pitch called strike three. And boy, Luke Hammond didn't like that one, but hey, Gets Minot out of a jam. Into the third, Mallards cross one on a sacrifice fly, and Carson Evans adds another. Snuck down the third baseline, and Mondragon comes home. But those would be the only two runs Minot scored until the eighth inning. The Rattlers, or should I say Larks, sweep the four-game series. Now, normally I'm not a tattoo guy, but when it comes to supporting our friends like Prairie Grit, I'm all for it. They were giving these puppies out at the game tonight. Prairie Grit hosting wheelchair basketball camp and adaptive fishing coming up in a few weeks. A whole lot of fun stuff. Check them out at prairiegritsports.com. Final round of the Sam Bakken Invitational at the Tom O'Leary in Bismarck. Minot's case in Rostad shot a 74 today. This putt for par on number nine rolls in. Champ Hedick of Beulah took a one-shot lead into the final round. Beulah product with a par on the ninth hole. Up ahead, Bot knows Max Palmer. He rolls one in for par on number 10. Max shot a 72. That was the lowest round of the day. Hey, how do you make up for a poor tee shot? How about this putt? Matthew Souther from Bismarck. Wow, 10th hole of beauty with some break on it. 74 today for Matthew. Same group, next hole. Back to Hedick. Champ with a chip on number 11th. He took the boys' side with a two-day total of 144 strokes. Anna Heddle, you can just see the very tip of her hat after she hit a monster drive on the seventh hole. Anna Heddle, her second on the par five, and she two-putted for a birdie from there. Heddle comfortable lead following that approach shot. After driving it to the back fringe on the par four, shorter par four, ninth hole, Heddle for birdie. Great day for her on the greens. The incoming senior from Mandan took home the girls prize three under par today after shooting even at Riverwood yesterday. Heddick takes home the boys prize. Botano's Max Palmer lifted up a couple places with 72. Rostad right behind him in third and another Magi, Bennett Barch, Rounds out the top 10 with a 73 today after shooting nine over par yesterday. Hey, we haven't done any golf trivia. How about some? Where did current PGA Tour golfer Tom Hoagie go to high school? Well, he is from Fargo. That one's for free. Funny enough, he didn't win any individual state titles, but his sophomore, junior, and senior year, he had teammates who did. This year, their co-op with Shanley won the boys' hockey state title in the 